what's going on everybody welcome back to ways of the sith thank you so much for taking time to check out the channel please make sure to like comment subscribe and follow us on twitter and instagram at ways of the sith so may the fourth be with you and everybody watching this video and celebrating star wars day um i got a great package from my good friend bat over at 2797 studios i finally placed an order i had been telling him forever that hey i'm going to place an order i'm going to place an order uh bat does phenomenal 3d printing and you can find them at 279studios.com and you can check out all the cool stuff they have really great really great quality um which i'm going to show you in this video and just tons of great stuff not only for star wars and black series or tvc um but also stuff for dc figures marvel figures indiana jones so all kinds of stuff and it really just adds so much so little backstory me and bat met uh about a year or two ago and just started talking because i was new to all of this i had no knowledge about 3d printing or the stuff that could be done and i was just blown away by some of his work and some of the, the models and some of the stuff they were coming up with um so i just started like asking him questions and then long behold we became friends and he's literally like one of my best friends now we talk pretty much every day but we've never actually met only online you know what i mean um but it's really cool that that through this community and through being a Star Wars fan, you can meet all of these other great people. Uh, it's just really, really awesome uh, when stuff like that is, is is a good environment. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you all the cool stuff that I got, um, but there's tons and tons of stuff on his website. So please make sure to check it out and go through all the stuff. But let's take a look at all these cool things that I got. All right. So first up, we're going to take a look at the Babu Fricks, the Anzellans. Um, Bat's got all different kinds of versions of these available, and you can actually pick which version you want, which is really cool. They're designed by Imprint Condition. Uh, he does some incredible, incredible stuff, uh, as well as Lance Peter Luke and a couple others that, that do some designing. Um, really, really great stuff, but I can't get over, like, the detail on these Anzellans. Like, I, I hope you can kind of see there. Maybe it's, yeah, <laughs> trying to focus, but these are incredible and like i don't have the black series version of babu so i didn't realize just like how small these actually were until they got here <laughs> and i'm trying to figure out all right how am i supposed to paint something this small like you can see my my finger you know for for scale size and they are small so really really cool they look great they're super detailed and like i said you can pick through all the different versions which is really awesome so you can pick out every many you want and then you can pick the different poses or like tools that they have or the look of them it's, it's pretty awesome so next up i actually have the pauldrons for bo -Katan. so it comes in a cool set where you get a male and a female version of it the mythosaur is there it's got some great emboss in it um, I do have to paint it up, but it does fit over perfectly, like perfectly sized, perfectly matched up. That's going to look so cool on my bow. And as you can see, I do have a new head on bow as well. And that's painted by Gray Customs on uh, uh, eBay. He does some phenomenal, phenomenal work. The only thing I did was I colored the, uh, the lights on the side of her band. Uh, I did one orange and one red. So this way it switches back and forth in the show a lot, but I just wanted a little bit of uh, color on that. And now she'll have her new pauldron and I can show you how, you know, the shield's gonna look as well. So that's gonna look absolutely awesome. Bo's gonna look totally, totally cool. All right, so next up we have the Armorer's Forge from the new season of Mandalorian. This is another imprint condition design, and this is really, really awesome. There's more pieces to the set. Uh, the cool thing about 2797 is you can actually pick like how much of the set you want. So if you just want one specific piece, you can order that, or you can order the whole entire thing, which is great. Um, so this is the Mythosaur skull. It needs to be painted, uh, but this looks absolutely phenomenal shout out to failed imagineers who uh does a lot of the resin for 2797 studios and here is the forge it comes in two pieces there's the top and there is the bottom this grate also is removable so that it can be painted before you put it back in and then it also comes with the resin flames that you can either glue or just place on top if you 
don't want to glue them, but they come with enough to put all the way around to look like the flames. Really, really awesome. I'm going to paint this up over the weekend and put it all together. So I'll definitely show off some more pictures and how that looks. And last but not least, this is something I actually picked up from Bat's personal collection. Uh, it's a space wall set. So I have some extra panels left over, but I did end up setting the rest of it up along with the door with the Inquisitors. That's pretty much why I picked it up. Uh, it's an older print. It still looks fantastic though. Um, and it looks even better in my display, which I'll definitely show you off at the end of this video. But it was something Bat was trying to get rid of. He said he didn't really have the space for it anymore. So I helped him out. Him and his wife were trying to go on a nice vacation with some of the, some of the, the stuff he's trying to purge. So I was more than happy to help him out with that and pick that set up especially with how awesome it looks uh the cool thing about these panels too is the light actually shines through them they have slits on them uh on this particular panel and then on this it's actually flash paper on the back to allow you to create that same look that the imperial walls actually have so really great i'm very happy to have this especially for figure photography and the fact that i have some extra panels to use for figure photography is is fantastic so really really cool so here is just a look at the door and the other panels that i used for my inquisitor setup i will be adding a few more inquisitors to the ranks but i think this looks so so cool to the display and really just adds a lot more to it so that'll do it for today thank you so much for taking time to check out this video please make sure to check out bass website 2797 studios this is something that he does full-time as a living and does some absolute phenomenal work with 3d printing and resin and all your needs for your action figures which is really cool um i'm very thankful not only to uh you know purchase stuff from him as a customer but to have him as a friend and it's just really awesome to be able to support your friends especially on a day like this uh, he's currently got a sale going on all this week for may the 4th so take advantage of that on his website 2797studios.com make sure to check it out and thanks again for checking out the video please make sure to like comment subscribe and as always may the force be with you this is the ways we would be honored if you would join us